Good year 3 Alpha Roger Wright 360 is approved and cleared to land at the south end, remain south at 27 at all times. Approved, and we're clear to land, remaining at south at 273 Alpha. My name is Taylor Dean. I'm Assistant Chief Pilot of the California Blimp Base. I've been with Goodyear for 10 years and I've been a pilot since 2005. I started my training out in San Diego and got my private instrument and commercial rating. And then I moved up to flight instructor. I worked in Alaska for a period of time for a small charter business. After that, I was gonna go into the airlines and just happened to come across the Goodyear blimp. I applied to that instead. I got hired on with Goodyear. My name is Brandon Chalman. I work here with the Goodyear blimp. I've been here for 18 years and I am the crew chief or ground operations manager. Goodyear has three locations. They have one in Akron, Ohio, Pompano Beach, Florida, and then the one that I'm from is based over in Carson, California. So we're flying a Zeppelin NT. Goodyear started the new fleet project in 2013. This aircraft is the newest of the fleet and it was built in 2018 and that was when its first flight was conducted. The purpose of the Goodyear blimp is to provide aerial coverage uh, but we are also the brand ambassadors for Goodyear. The airship does several different kinds of missions, but our bread and butter is definitely TV events where aerial broadcasting is something we've always been a part of since the 1950s. Uh, we also do passenger rides and we do cross-country flights. The Zeppelin NT is 246 feet long, 65 feet wide, and 58 feet tall. So it's just a bit wider than it is taller, and it holds just under 300,000 cubic feet of helium. The certified maximum altitude of the Zeppelin is 10,000 feet. On average though, the airship's usually between 1,000 and 1,500 feet. We're always advertising, we're low to the ground, we want to be seen. The max speed of the Zeppelin NT is 73 miles per hour, but on an average day, we'll only be going about 40. The airship weighs just under 20,000 pounds, and we have three Lycoming IO360 engines rated at 200 horsepower. The airship, when it's fully fueled, can run for approximately 20 hours on full tanks. So just how the ship sits on the mast, being in airports where we're moored out in the middle of a field, we can't get a fuel truck like a normal aircraft can get out to them. Uh, so right here, we have our two fuel bowsers. Uh, they hold a whole 100 gallons of fuel each, and we'll actually pump the fuel up about 25, 30 feet into the air to the fuel tank. So here at the Goodyear Blimp, we are pretty much a self-sustained operation. We need to be because we travel all over the country. The Goodyear has two mast trucks. They're 32 ton trucks and right up top here they have a mast. We can telescope it up to about 42 feet. When we need to use it, we can set it up on any open airport. As long as we have flat land, we can land actually the ship anywhere. We have our semi truck and inside here is our AMP mechanics. It has tools, spare parts, almost everything we need shy of a prop and an engine to fix the ship. One thing that I like about working here with the Goodyear Blimp um, is it's always changing. We travel around the country, we're always meeting new people, covering different events. And since I've started working here, I've got to see most of all the United States, which is actually pretty amazing. For me, flying is about the adventure. It's about doing new things all the time. It's about being outside. It's about meeting new people. I mean, we get to do all kinds of stuff here at Goodyear that I'm happy about on a daily basis.